Hi everyone, it's Elliot here. I hope you're doing very well in these uncertain times. I just want to announce that I have a huge package. No, not like that, you dirty things. No, I have a, a delivery. I've received something in the post that I want to share with you because I've not opened it, but I'm pretty sure I know what is inside the box. Oh yeah, before we get into this video properly, if you're new here, my name is Elliot. I love the Criterion Collection and collecting Blu-rays and talking about all of these great films. So if you're into that kind of thing, please do consider subscribing and getting involved with the videos by liking and commenting because we have a great community on this channel and it would be great if you could join us. I have this pretty hefty box. I've got a mini screwdriver that I'm gonna to use to open it because I'm just that kind of makeshift guy. I just, I just make do with what I've got. So let's dig into it. That's a bit of ASMR for all you people out there. I am opening the box. ASMR edition. Okay, it's open. I'm gonna give you a little peek of what's inside. Oh no, that's too much. Yes, I have a delivery of some Criterion Collection Blu-rays from a recent sale that I was actually told about by you guys. I wasn't really that knowledgeable of this sale which is from the BFI store. So the British Film Institute, they have a web page where you can buy Criterion Blu-rays. They had a deal on their website for two for £25. Naturally, I went on and I thought, you know what, I might buy one or two, you know, that as you do. Uh, I looked at the postage cost, it was £5 postage. So I thought, you know, if I'm going to pay £5 postage, I'm going to get my money's worth. So instead of ordering one or two, I ordered 20, but this is not a moment to regret those impulsive life decisions we've made. This is a celebration because I have some brilliant films to show to you. Okay, first one out of the box, right at the top, Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, directed by the great Stanley Kubrick. This is one of the funniest films ever made, in my opinion. It's a great satire about war great performances plural from peter sellers i love the sets in this film there's a particular set which is the famous war room gentlemen we can't fight here this is the war room you know that's one of the greatest lines from this film i love this so happy to have it next up out of the box detour directed by edgar g ulmer i have not seen detour but Everyone tells me this is one of the greatest noir films ever made. I know this is a particular favourite of Christopher Nolan, and it's also a swift 69 minutes. I love a film that can be short and good. When it can be 60 minutes, oh my god, it's perfect. Sometimes you just don't have three hours to watch a film. And yes, I know my favourite film is Barry Lyndon, which is, of course, three hours long. That's besides the point. I love the artwork on Detour as well. So as a noir fan, I am so excited to get into this disc. Next up, A Face in the Crowd, directed by Elia Kazan. I love Kazan's work. I think he's great at commenting on society and the problems in society. And I think he does so no more than in this film. I am very excited to crack this open, get into the special features. Great artwork from Criterion. You've got to love the presentation that goes into these discs. I've also got Badlands, the Terence Malick film, his directorial debut, absolutely amazing film, great cinematography and direction like in all of his films. Sissy Spacek, Martin Sheen, People on the Run, a bit like Bonnie and Clyde, great film. Next up is The Heiress, directed by William Wyler. This I don't know much about, but it's been on my watch list for ages because I love Wyler's films. Going a bit off topic, his film Dodsworth is coming out from Warner Archive, which I am very excited for. But this film in particular, I can't wait to watch because I love Olivia de Havilland. She's just so beautiful and one of the greatest actresses ever. A very underrated actress. I, I know she's famous, but in terms of modern day recognition, not a lot of people are talking about Olivia de Havilland. So really excited to watch The Heiress. I've also got polyester the john waters film john waters makes these disgustingly beautiful masterpieces such a unique voice in cinema i've not seen polyester but i've got uh, multiple maniacs and female trouble in the criterion collection behind me 
so I can't wait to delve into polyester. For All Mankind, one of the greatest documentaries I've ever watched. This is quite timely as well, because obviously with the anniversary of the moon landing, this is a double dip because I do own the For All Mankind Eureka Masters of Cinema disc, but I honestly just love this film. A great documentary, 80 minutes long. Again, another swift film. So I thoroughly recommend this if you've not seen it. These next two have me very excited. I have Shock Corridor by Samuel Fuller and The Naked Kiss by Samuel Fuller. Fuller is just, again, one of the most unique directors ever to have made films. Like, I love so many of his films. In particular, my favourites are probably uh, 40 Guns, Pick Up on South Street. These films are great, great films, and I've been wanting these for ages. I just held off from importing them from the US. But I'm glad Criterion UK decided to put these two films out. This one here, 12 Angry Men, Sidley Lumet's directorial debut. What a debut as well. For a film that's set in one location and it's just a load of guys talking, absolutely thrilling. And it really plays into the theatre of the mind because as they're talking and explaining situations, you're imagining what they're talking about. In a way, it's this weird extension of theatre into cinema, but it's also separate from what theatre is. Just a really interesting film. Can you believe that this was the first film he ever made? That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Henry Fonda as well. Great performance. Uh, Lee J. Cobb. Yeah, I've been wanting this disc for a while. I think not controversially, but it's a bit of a sourced subject for some people. This Blu-ray is not as good as the, is it Universal? They have a Blu-ray disc available, which actually I think has a better quality picture to it and has some different special features. But just for the sake of completion, I had to get this. The Palm Beach Story. I have wanted to see this for absolutely ages. I love the films of Preston Sturges, such as Sullivan's Travels, and I'm also a big fan of Claudette Colbert as well. I love her in It Happened One Night, which is also in the Criterion Collection. So very excited for this one. Now this is interesting. Swing Time, the uh, Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers title. I've never seen this. It's directed by George Stevens, so I like George Stevens. I don't know what to expect from this, to be honest. I have heard a lot about Swing Time, and it's always mentioned on those lists of, you know, the thousand and one movies you must see before you die. So I really want to see Swing Time. We are getting through these, I promise. The box is getting lighter and lighter. I have 24 Frames, directed by Abbas Kiarostami. This was the last film that Kiarostami made before he passed away a few years ago. I've heard very great things about this in terms of it being quite experimental. Linking his work, as it says on here, linking his work between being a filmmaker and a photographer. I think Kiarostami is one of the best filmmakers ever. Recently, Criterion brought out the Coca trilogy, but they also have films like uh, Certified Copy and Like Someone in Love. Those films are brilliant, and I'm really intrigued to see what his last film is like. Eating Raoul. This is a complete blind buy. I know nothing about it. So if you recommend this, please do let me know in the comments below. Kiss Me Deadly, the noir film directed by Robert Aldrich, a great director and like I mentioned when I was talking about Detour earlier, I'm a huge fan of noir. This is such a provocative cover as well, so I can't wait to get into Kiss Me Deadly. I have Clute, directed by Alan J. Pecula. Is it Pecula? Not too sure. Someone correct me in the comments. This only came onto my radar when Criterion released it. People were making a meme out of this, essentially because Criterion were tweeting about Clute the whole time when they announced this. So it did become a bit of a meme in the Criterion groups. But I'm finally excited to see what all the fuss is about. We're getting close to the end now. Death in Venice, directed by Lucchino Visconti. Visconti, oh, one of the best directors ever. I have said that about every director in this, but really Visconti is one of my favourite directors. I absolutely adore The Leopard with Burt Lancaster and Claudia Cardinale. So I can't wait to watch this. I'm a huge fan of Thomas Mann as well. Thomas Mann, the author of the novel. I, I love Thomas Mann, so I can't wait to watch this. We're down to the bottom of the box. There's one more title, but this is frustrating. They have sent me the wrong title. Now, they've sent me a great film. This is a great, great film, but I already own it and have seen it multiple times. Uh, In a Lonely Place. 
the Nicholas Ray film. This shouldn't be this. I ordered Ivan's Childhood by Andrei Tarkovsky. So that's a bit frustrating. I'm going to have to send this back and get them to send me a new one. Ah, oh, what a way to end the video. That is really frustrating. But anyway, I'm so happy to have received the rest of these. I'm not in any shortage of things to watch. Oh, so if I show them all at once, this is it. This is all I got. 20 films. Well, 19, because obviously they sent me the wrong one. But I'm very excited to watch all of these. Great bargain as well, getting them for two for 25. And I also got 10% off as well. So as far as prices go these days, that's pretty good. Oh, and I did miscount at the start of the video. I actually got sent 18 titles, not 20. So I wasn't that greedy. It was only 18, not 20. That's it. That's my Criterion Collection Blu-ray sale haul. It feels like I'm making a lot of these, but I do love it. I love talking about these films and I can't wait to get into watching these films. So if you've enjoyed this, you know, by all means, let me know and I will see you in the next video.